Welcome to the reading vlog. Good morning, it's Saturday. I have a lot of things to do today and I'm gonna take you along with me. First off, we gotta get groceries, so let's go. All right, groceries acquired. Apparently I ordered three bags of tomatoes instead of like three tomatoes. <laughs> Whoops! Um, today we have some cleanup to do with the yard and my husband needs to mow and I need to blow all the leaves into the yard so he can do so. Um, while I do some yard work, I've got my headphones out, um, since this is a reading vlog and all, I'm gonna be listening to some audiobooks. Um, so I'm gonna be reading something a little different for me. Um, it's not fantasy. And it's not historical. I know. Who am I? It's contemporary. I never read contemporary and I really don't know if I'm gonna love it or not, but I think I am. I'm gonna be positive about it. Um, I am finally going to be listening to both Flawless and Heartless this weekend by Elsie Silver. These two books are so hyped um heartless more so than flawless so i realized that and i want to see what all the hubbub is about <laughs> so i'm gonna be listening to them i just recently got them both for like five dollars in an audible sale so why not why not make a weekend of it <laughs> um my question for these books is will this put me into my cowboy era because everyone seems to be in one and maybe i want to join too <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. Let's find out. been a few hours um I meant to check in at like 25 percentage mark but I'm halfway through flawless if you live under a rock this story is about Rhett Eaton who is a bull rider and he's gotten himself into some trouble because he doesn't like milk and then he punched a guy <laughs> so he's lost his milk sponsor which is weird because milk isn't a brand it's a thing. Something about that just like doesn't connect with me. Like I understand dairy, like the dairy industry might be upset about that. Like I totally understand that. But how can you lose your milk sponsorship? Like milk isn't a brand. Anyways. Anyways, he's landed himself in hot water and Summer is the daughter of his agent and she has been tasked with keeping him in line and turning around his bad boy persona um, so that way she can advance without seeming like it's nepotism. Um, anyways, they're getting to know each other. She's living on the his family's ranch with all her other brothers and his father, who I love seeing the family. The family is really cool and I'm really liking the brothers. I don't know how I feel about Rhett right now. I do like his playful personality with her. Like he seems like almost like a, like, you know, very elementary school teasing type of relationship as of right now. And Summer is definitely holding her own. So I like that about her, but I don't know. Um, I'm halfway through and things are starting to happen while they're both, well, she's resisting. He's, they're clearly very attracted to each other. <laughs> But she's wanting to remain professional. You know, she wants to get ahead in her career without seeming like she slept her way through it. And I get that. I, I respect that. But he's making it very hard. Like, he's making it very hard for her. And I don't blame him. I mean, he's a sexy cowboy guy, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, um, not loving it. Not hating it. It's just okay so far. Um, the audiobook. The narrators um, love the male na narrator. 
Not sure how I feel about the female narrator, only because her voice is more breathy. So sometimes I have to turn it way up to actually hear clearly. Like that sometimes that bothers me with narrators, but I'm not hating it. Uh, I think they're both doing a great job. So yeah, <sighs> I'm gonna take a break, drink this entire jar of water. <laughs> and then we've got some more errands to run a little bit more yard work to do, we're almost done. And then maybe I can relax, we'll see. I'll see you in a little bit. Oh, one other thing that I wanted to talk about in this vlog is the fact that I got a new camera. <laughs> this is my first vlog, I think, with this camera. So I have been filming on my phone for the entire time since I started in November, so not that long ago. Um, I have a an Android a Samsung S21. I really love my phone. I think it works great for videos and I think the quality is fine. Um, audio, not so much. I do have to use an external microphone with it because otherwise you really can't hear me. Um, but my one biggest gripe with it is that I run out of storage space so very quickly. And when I do videos, I only get about 30 minutes of like filming time before it shuts off on me. So it was just really getting to me and annoying me. So I bought this camera. It is the Sony ZV-F1. It's a vlogging camera. It's like the entry level vlogging camera, which is a step up from a phone. And I really do think it is a step up from the phone. I really am enjoying filming with it. So why I got this camera is I wanted something that I could literally just press a button and go. Um, I have a DSLR, it's very old. It's like a Canon Rebel T3, not even a T3i. It's not very good for video. It doesn't have a flip out screen. And I love that camera. I learned how to use it. I learned all the settings of it, but it becomes like big and cumbersome and I wanted something a little bit more portable. And also something that was a little bit better quality and that it wouldn't take up all the space on my phone. So I bought this vlogging camera and she cute. When I put her little wig on, when vlogging outside, you can't hear the wind noise at all. I think it works really well. Um, plug and play, I literally press a button and go and it has a little flip out screen so I can see myself even though I really try not to look at myself it's very difficult i like that i don't have to have an external microphone this is just the onboard microphone on the um camera let me take actually let me show you the difference between my phone camera and that one so right now you're listening to me on the camera i think it sounds great and now you're listening to me on my phone which leaves a little bit to desire, be desired. Also, you can tell that the crop is very close. So that was another thing when I'm vlogging, and um, I like, I'm just very zoomed in. Whereas on this camera, I'm much wider profile. The lens is a fixed lens, so you can't adjust it. There is um, a zoom feature, which is optical zoom, which I probably won't ever use, maybe a little bit. So you be the judge on whether this was worth it or not. I think it was just because it's much easier to use. It's very light. And I love it. <laughs> Maybe it's just me trying to justify my purchase. But um, if you have any questions about it, let me know. Well, drawbacks of the camera. Because there's always drawbacks. Um, again, the zoom feature, probably not the greatest. Um, could be better. But that's kind of what I expect from a fixed focal length lens. You're not gonna get a great zoom and that's fine. This is clearly meant as a vlogging camera and that's it. Um, the defocus button again. It's a little bit, it's a little defocused and that's fine. Um, probably when I'm out and about in a crowd with people much further back behind me, it might be more noticeable, but I would say it's nothing like like it's not what's selling the camera. Um, also, you can use this camera as a webcam, which I can easily connect it to my laptop. It works great as a webcam a laptop with my laptop. However, I use my tablet and I have a Samsung tablet um, and I can't get the tablet to recognize it. So unfortunately, you won't be able to use this as a webcam with a tablet as of right now, unless Samsung finish, fixes that, so. 
I'm not a camera guru. I am just a normal person. I am a bit of a techie, so I like to know things about what I'm doing, but I'm definitely not like any kind of cinematographer. And I think as someone who is just wanting to make videos for YouTube or even vlogging for YouTube, I think this camera is great. It's definitely a step above the phone camera, which the phone camera is fine. I have very little complaints about the quality of it. It's literally just the space and the audio. Space and audio, boo. All right, okay, bye. Garden 2023 officially planted. So we ended up with four beds and these two we planted just now, as you saw. We got watermelon, yellow squash, cherry tomatoes, tomatoes, and there should be peppers here. Carrots though, Leo got into it today and took out half a roll, a row, annoying, and cucumbers. And then we have both strawberry plants, a blueberry, onion, and garlic. The lemon tree is getting some flowers on it. Potato, and the new tree that I got yesterday, a lime tree. That is also flowering. All right, we're done with the garden. It's definitely time for dinner now. Don't mind me, nothing to see here. Hey Leo. <laughs> oh, the dog hates the hose. Serves him right for getting in my garden. Leo and I are taking a little break, but I passed. Oh, I'm on uh, chapter 28. <laughs> and I'm like, I hate, I hate this. I hate this, okay? I don't hate the book. I just hate this. A secret comes out that she never told Rhett that it was a secret. She never told him, and now she's mad at him. 
for getting upset about it and making a scene over it. And now the whole secret is out to everybody. I'm just like, why are you mad at him? I don't, it's just kind of like annoying. Um, so that's where I'm at right now. Um, just an update. Spice is very good. Um, how do I say this? Prince Everin definitely has some competition. <laughs> I will be back when I finish this book and possibly have started Heartless. This drives me nuts. She's mad at him because he betrayed her trust. You can't betray somebody if you didn't tell them it was a secret. Like... I really don't think he did anything wrong other than did he not shut up when she asked him to shut up? Sure. But he didn't know, you know, she wanted him to shut up because it's a secret. You know, he's, she won't stick up for herself. So he was sticking up for her. <sighs> okay. Welcome to my bathroom. I need to get ready for bed, so let's just wrap up Flawless while I'm doing my thing. So, I think I'm gonna give Flawless three stars. I liked it. It was fine. Um, it wasn't like a new favorite by any means. Um, let's, okay. Let's go with this. What did I like about the book? I really liked the family aspect of it. Um, I like all the brothers and the dad and the, the whole like ranch in Canada thing. And I liked Summer's dad. I liked the text messages that were doing like in the beginning of the chapters and stuff that was happening. And I liked most of it. Most of the plot, I guess. What I didn't like about it, and I think this is also what makes it hard for me as a fantasy reader, it doesn't feel like there's very like big stakes going on. It feels very much like this guy is just wanting his third championship for whatever reason, even though he doesn't need it. He's gonna risk his life for it anyways, which gets resolved in the end, which is fine. But, like, I don't know, I guess I just didn't get that portion of it. Um, also, what I didn't like, the narrator for the female voice. The female voice is very breathy, which makes listening to an audiobook when you are doing things that are loud difficult. Like, I wouldn't listen to this in the car. I don't think I'd be able to hear it in the car. Um, definitely was difficult when I was mowing, like, my husband was mowing the lawn and everything afterwards, so. Um, what else did I really like? I didn't like the third act breakup. It wasn't a breakup, but still, why she was mad at him. Annoying. Dumb, in my opinion. Um, the whole thing with his sister I think was a little unnecessary and yeah I don't know there was a lot of things that I didn't like about it but overall I think the book was fine like I liked it I finished it I didn't I don't really have any strong feelings about it either way so have I entered my cowboy era after reading flawless not quite we are going to move on. I'm gonna listen to Heartless tonight before I fall asleep, just for a little bit. Uh, apparently at two times speed, it's only five hours. So I think we'll be able to knock this out quickly today and tomorrow. And yeah, I do have higher hopes for Heartless than I do with Flawless. I know I'm letting my expectations kind of, I think get in the way of enjoying these books but I also think it was just that I didn't I didn't have any strong feelings about it so not in my cowboy era yet but maybe after the next one good morning it's Sunday um 
I started Heartless last night and I'm on chapter 14. Almost halfway, I think. How many chapters are there? There are 36, same as the other one. Okay, Heartless. I'm loving this so much more <laughs> than Flawless, I can't tell you. I think it's just the nature of what it is. Love a single dad, love it. Love Willa. I love a, care, a, a woman who just says exactly what's on her mind. I don't, like she has no hesitation. Like I love that. And <laughs> I'm at the birthday party scene right now. And I can't tell you the amount of times I have wanted to hip chuck a kid <laughs> to a pool because they were mean to my child. I love that she actually did that. <laughs> I actually really love Luke in this. Um, I don't normally like like kids in my romances, but this totally works. Totally works. Love the vibe they have going. Um, yes. And I just, oh, Kate is great. Kate is great. Will is great. I don't know what else to say about it. I'm just, I'm really liking this way more, more than the other one. I am going to get a little bit more ready. Maybe cool down because I'm already sweating and yeah. I'll check in again when I'm a little bit further into this book. Okay, I know I said I would be back later, but I love a caretaking man. <laughs> I love a caretaking scene. Um, this is, I know I just, I married a caretaker, so I'm really biased about this, but like, Mm, I just freaking it's so hot it's just so hot if any man is wondering how to get a woman be a caretaker okay <laughs> like just take care of them in a kind way like get them the things they need without at them having to ask for it that's all I also want to know how annoying is it my husband also does this we will all get sick in this house and he will not he never gets sick Never get sick. Apparently Cade never gets sick either. It's annoying, but also thank God. <laughs> Cause the non-sick one gets to take care of all the sick ones. <laughs> uh, I love this. I love this a lot. <laughs> okay, but at a kid's birthday party though? The yard humor in this, I literally chuckle every single time. <laughs> Is the water pregnant yet? <laughs> okay, I just finished Heartless. It's definitely a five star. It was definitely a five star. Y'all are right, y'all are right. It is just so lovely in every way. I absolutely adore Cade and Willa. I absolutely adore Luke. I absolutely adore everyone in this book. Like, I have no complaints about it. So with that being said, have I entered my cowboy era after reading Heartless? Well, I definitely have entered my Elsie Silver phase. Like I need to read more of her books. Um, I've got to figure out, find out what's up with Jasper. I just got to, is that the next book? That better be the next book. Um, I will definitely be reading more of these in the future. I really enjoyed reading, especially Heartless. Flawless, not so bad. Like, honestly, it wasn't bad at all. <sighs> this, was a, this was a good weekend. This was a really good weekend. I don't really have anything else to say other than thank you for joining me on this journey of me working my butt off and also reading some contemporary romances that I never thought that I would love, but at least love one of them. <laughs> All right. I will see you next time. Bye.